Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get both forms of Urshifu in Pokemon Sword and Shield in the Isle of Armor. This is really exciting and very informational and very easy for you guys. Someone in my Twitch chat by the name of Summer gave me the suggestion that, oh yeah, you can make multiple accounts on your Switch to do it because multiple accounts can be linked to one Pokemon home. And the best part about this is you don't even need to pay for Pokemon Home. So, what do you need for this? Obviously, you're going to need a copy of Pokemon Sword of Shield. You're going to need Pokemon Home. And you're going to need the DLC at the time when you're watching this video. Now, what I did in my Pokemon game was I made a secondary save file on another account. I used my wife's account, in my case, to make this. And I went through Pokemon Sword one more time. But I only went up to the wild area because that is the only place... You need to go if you make multiple counts on a secondary switch to access the Isle of Armor in the game. That's it. And you know you've reached that point when you can go to the wild area, come back to the train station, and you will see your rival from Pokemon Sword or Shield along with a Galarian Slowpoke just sitting there at the train station. That's it. Very simple. Once you reach that point, you know you have access to the Isle of Armor and that you can go there at any time. You do not have to beat the game to go there. Now, what I did was I took that Slowpoke from my wife's account on Pokemon Home, right? This is the non-paid version because she's not, it's not paid on her account. I logged into it and I dropped the Slowpoke into the basic box over here, just like this. I then quit out, right? Save and exit. And you go back into your Pokemon Home, you open up Pokemon and you can go ahead right over there, right when you see the arrow, you could change the username on the account. Now, going from my wife's account to my account, I just click on that. I say, yes, I want to check a different username. I go to mine. I go to P beats you. And now I open up Pokemon Sword again. And just like that, I can take the Slowpoke from her game and transfer it over to my account, which is on, which is my box. Very simple. And after that, I go ahead and I quit, save and exit. I go back in my game under my name this time. I then go to my boxes and it should be right over here. Let's go ahead and take a look and box one and boom, the Slowpoke that I got from my other account, aka my wife's account, is now in my party and the same concept applies that you can do the same with getting another urshifu in the game urshifu or kubfu is going to be probably given to you at the beginning of that dlc as that pokemon is meant to train with you so the more accounts you make the more kubfus you get and the more you can transfer them over to your main account and maybe use them as trade bait i don't know you can you can mass multiply these because one pokemon home account links to your entire switch and you could transfer a multiple pokemon from different save files to your switch you only need to purchase one DLC, nothing more than that. One DLC applies to every user account on your Switch. So in short summary, you're going to just want to get two cup foos, run them on two accounts, go to the Dark Tower on one account, go to the Water Tower on the other account, get them to Urshifu, and then transfer either one to the account of your choice. And I hope you guys can maybe even use now both Urshifus, aka both of cup foos evolution, the single strike and the rapid strike, in your journey in Pokemon the Isle of Armor coming very soon, aka tomorrow, aka if you're watching this video and already playing the game, well, you have it. That is all, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to also follow the Twitch channel where we are playing Pokemon the Isle of Armor probably right now as you're watching this, or if you're not and it's before the launch, we are preparing for it and you want to come hang out. We have a 25-hour stream starting on the 17th on launch, so you want to be there. Do not miss out. Go follow it. We're doing things as a community. We are raiding. We are we are shiny hunting. We are tr everything. Everything that you can think of as a community. <laughs> also, drop a follow on the Twitter if you guys want some dank content and informational guides and maps that I create within the game. That's all, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys in the next Iowa of Armor video, most likely at launch tomorrow. Take care, guys, and have a good one.